my friends, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. We are going to get our two care packages for our daughters that no longer live at home done today and into the mail. So if you watched my October grocery haul, you saw the things that we picked up. And then I also picked up a few little toys for my grandson, um, Daniel. And so we will show you that. I went on Pinterest and got some inspiration on how to decorate the boxes. So the items are in here. We are just gonna decorate the outside so that when they open it up, it's all cute and Halloween inspired. We just ran to our local Dollar General and got some spider webs and spiders that will drape over the top for when they open it up. So right now I just have this stuff in the box. This is Emma, Daniel, and Christopher's, and this is Evie Kate's. So we're going to just do some black and orange construction paper on the edge, and then we'll cut out some words, and then we'll do the spider webs on top. of Emma and Chris's and Daniel's done. So it just says, Happy Halloween. And then over here it says, Boo. And I will show you each item as I put it in and then we'll do the spider webs on top. I got them the fall party cakes, Little Debbie, so yummy. And since Emma, they have an apartment and a kitchen, I got her the Fun Betty Halloween cupcake and matching frosting. Really cute. And then this Happy Harvest I got at Marshall's, a little spatula. It has the measurements on the back. And then a pumpkin cookie cutter. Some. These are from Walmart, the Great Value Pumpkin Spice Marshmallows shaped like pumpkins. And then I put four hot chocolate mixes in there for the marshmallows. And then this is just fun, a caramel dip for apples and whatever else they wanna dip. And then the rest is for Baby Daniel. I'm gonna put this like this while I show you. So this has a suction cup on the bottom. I also got this at Marshall's and when you pull, well not so much, but when you pull the side, it spins around. This was $7.99. We'll just stick that in there and then this is another one with the suction cup and it spins around. It has a little monkey. And then I bought him this for November, but I wanted to go ahead and send it to them so that they could have him wear it all through November. It has a little turkey playing football and then a the little hat on the back. Isn't that cute? So we're gonna fold that. Okay, and then lastly, this baby touch and feel pumpkin book has cute little things inside and each page has something for him to feel on, different textures. 
So now, I'm gonna try to lower this. I'm gonna spread the, I'm gonna have to divide this between the two. Kind of pull it on it and cut it. Okay. Okay. And then in theory, we're just going to spread the spider web. I'm sure as it's shipped and kind of thrown all over, this will not look as cute when maybe I can do some of the packing tape on the sides to kind of keep it on the corners. I'll have to ask them after they get it how it how the spider was held up in shipping. Okay, so my camera died, but all I did was tape the corners of the netting just so that as it shipped, this wouldn't all you know, just pile up in one section. So then we're just gonna add some fun little spider rings. You know who will really like these is my Evie Kate. <laughs> she will think that is really fun. I'm curious. I think the frosting and the cake mix weighs quite a bit. So I'm curious. I'll let y'all know when we go and mail it here in a second how, how much that costs to get this to Louisiana. Okay. All right, our Halloween treats are headed, oh, headed to, this is the top of that toy. I'm gonna bend it. My goodness, that is not funny. There we go, there we go. Okay. It feels really more awkward since I and I actually got this huge pack of when my daughter Emma went to college and she's now almost finished with college and we have used them, but my intention was to send her monthly care packages. So I really am the queen of good intentions. So it feels good to finally do this. Hopefully shipping these won't <laughs> make it to where I can't do this every month. I mean, they're, they're gonna be moving to Texas in the next few months, but for Evie, hopefully it would be a fun treat for her. So we'll get Lizzie's finished up. Okay, while she's finishing, I'll show you what is inside of Evie's. She's kind of missing all the fun Daniel little toys, but she got a the party cakes, the marshmallows, two hot chocolate mixes, actually four hot chocolate mixes, the caramel dip. She has a little refrigerator in her dorm room. And then she has these pumpkin spice pretzels and the apple cider donut. So hers is all kind of just yummy, fun treats. So she's got Boo and she'll write Happy Halloween and then we'll get the netting on here. Okay, they are done and packed and taped up. I'm gonna hop in the car and go and drop these off at the mail stop. Luckily we have one in town and I will check back in and let you know the shipping cost and then hopefully they will get them within the next couple days. So we went to the mail stop out in the country town where we live and it was closed. Use the left lane to make a U-turn and then the destination is on your right. Sorry about that. So we drove in town, we dropped our son off at work, drove into town, we have little Evan with us and we ended up having like a spontaneous little date with Evan and went to a place called Waco Taco. No. Waco Taco. Waco Taco. Waco Taco. W-A-K-O Taco. It was really good. We sat outside. Sorry, this is bumpy. We're in our bus. And had some
some, I had chicken fajitas. He had a beef, what did you have? It was a taco. Beef oh. taco, the queso dip it's was like so good. Taco. So now we're here at a, woo, at a UPS store. Let's hope this doesn't cost a small fortune, but I'm thankful to get these mailed off to my girlies. Okay, so Brian just went in to the mail stop or the UPS store and we got them shipped off. It says they're not gonna ship until Monday. I guess that's true, it's Saturday afternoon. Um, so EB Kate's is $13.28 and Emma and Chris and Baby Daniels is $15.77. Theirs was pretty heavy, so. How does, how does Amazon do two-day shipping? And it's free. And it's free. Maybe their prices are somewhat elevated to compensate. Cause that, what is Prime? Like $80 a month now? Or a year? No, it's a hundred Oh, well maybe that's. But we get a lot of stuff from Amazon. So we definitely, it's worth that, that extra expense. Okay friends, well, maybe this inspired you to send a holiday care package to somebody that you love that doesn't live close to you and if you have any ideas about what I could put or include in a November one I think until we at least get through the holidays this may be a fun thing to do for my girlies so we hope y'all enjoyed the video we would appreciate it if you would subscribe if you haven't already and we will chat with you in the comments Hope y'all are having a good day. Bye.